Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Sharp YouTube channel. Now this video is part of my brand new course, Superbase for iOS Developers, a complete bootcamp. The course is available on adamsharp.school and you can get to pre-order the course for just $89. Once a course is completed, then the price will update to $149. Now this course will cover a lot of different things about Superbase development. You can see that Right now, a couple of sections are published, including lectures on getting started with Superbase. But every week, I'll be publishing more and more lectures and sections, which will include the MV pattern, relationships, authentication, storage, edge functions, and even the real-time API. So if you wanted to learn Superbase for iOS development, this is the best course for you. And once again, you can pre-order the course for only $89 or sign up for the membership. Thank you so much. Now let's go back to the video. Now let's go ahead and see that how we can add the Superbase Swift package to our Swift UI application. I've already created a basic Swift UI application. It comes with default code. And the name of the app is Budget App but you can obviously name this any way you want. In order to add the Swift base package, and I'll add this particular link in the description so you can also know where to find it. The first thing we need is to refer to the package URL. Now they do have a pretty good documentation so you can see that in the documentation, they are saying that you can either add or point to this superbase swift.git package using the uh, package manager, the Swift package manager. And over here in the products, you can either say superbase or if you are using particular package like authentication, real time, Postgres function or storage, you can just give them individual names. So I'm just gonna copy this part all right, and let's go over here. Go to File, Add Package Dependencies. In the URL, just go ahead and put the URL that we just copied, and you can see that this is a Superbase package. And now we can say Add Package. When we do that, it's going to tell us that, okay, they, we're going to add the authentication function, basically all the five different packages. And for some reason, it didn't really selected the budget app. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the budget app over here. There we go, add to the target. And I will say add. And now you can see that the package dependencies are being downloaded and the packages are being added, okay? You can also see over here, building project app for previews, so it's still downloading these packages, still a little bit of time remaining for downloading these packages. It now is indexing, processing files. Let's go to build the app. Okay, now we're building the app. Because I wanted to show you that can we even add or import Superbase. Okay, Superbase does come up and now I can go ahead and build it. Now, if I build it right now, you can see that even though I have added these package dependencies, as you can see, it still says no such module found, the Superbase module, which is kind of weird because we already added the packages. So one of the things that you can do is go to the actual budget app, and over here, make sure that you select the target, if you scroll down to the section where they're talking about the framework libraries and embedded content, you can see that all of these packages are over there, but the Superbase is missing. So I can go ahead and add, and I can add the Superbase package. Let's go ahead and add that. Great. Let's go back to our code, and just to see that if this works. So we'll just say Superbase. Let's go ahead and build it and now it's successful, all right? So make sure you do that step or else it's not really going to compile or build and it will always complain about Superbase. 
Let's remove that for now. The next thing in the documentation, they're saying that we need to initialize the Superbase client. Now, the Superbase client is the one that will give you access to the database, give you access to the other things. And the way that you initialize the client is by using this single line of code. Let's go ahead and copy this line of code. And you can initialize this client anywhere you want. Um, right now, I'm just going to initialize it in the app file. But in the next lecture, I will show you that how you can even move it as an environment value. So let's go to the app file. There we go. We just initialized it. We will need to import Superbase in the app file. Let's go ahead and build it. Now, the URL over here needs to be changed and also the Superbase key needs to be changed. But where do we get those split things? And they're telling us that go to the project settings, API settings, and then you'll find it. So this is my actual table editor right now. Let's go to home. And we're trying to find this. And here it is, project API. Under project API, you will see the project URL. Select that one, copy. So that's just the URL part of it. Let's go back and replace this with a URL. That's a project URL, by the way. And then the API key. Again, I can go ahead and say copy and change it over here. In your application, you will have to go to, you know, to your place where you are doing all of this stuff on your Superbase website and on your Superbase dashboard, and you have to get those project URL as well as the API key, this one, the API key from there, all right? Let's go ahead and build it. And now you can see that at least it builds successfully. And this client that we just created, don't worry too much about it right now because I'm going to show you a different way of creating the client, but at least you have this, uh, the URL and also the API key because now eventually we can do something like this. So if I say on appear, you'll see that client dot, see that database coming up. So all of these things, you can actually access it from there. Or in this case, let's see what they're saying over here. Uh, let's see. Table editor, database, there's a database. Sometimes you can just find those kind of things. Here we go. Superbase.from, okay. So we can use client dot from. So there we go, it, all of these things kind of comes up, all right? But I'll show you a little bit of a different way of where to put this client and show you a couple of different ways that you can do that. And then it will be up to you that which action that you prefer. So this is how you will configure your Superbase client for your iOS application. In the next video, I will show you that instead of creating this client, the Superbase client in the project app uh, file, what we can do is we can move this as an environment value. That will be just one variation of it. And then I will also show you a little bit of a different approach for our application, all right? So in the next one, next lecture, we can learn about that, how we can create a custom environment value so that we can move Superbase client into our application, into our environment value.